I'm really happy for this marriage. I am really happy for this marriage. May God bless this marriage. May God give them nice children and health, prosperity. Rama, I, I just want to advise you. Take care of your, ma your husband. The husband take care of you. That is the best. When you respect your husband, your husband respect you, will be good. Love yourself and honest between yourself. I'd like to welcome everyone this afternoon for this very blessed and joyous occasion. And we are here to celebrate the union, the marriage, and the love of Alpha and Rahmatullahi. I ask the Almighty to bless their union and keep them together in happiness and in prosperity. Marriage is one of the things that the Almighty looks down with the eyes of mercy. And he's called it from his signs. He said, From the signs of the Almighty that he has created for you, your spouses and your partners, so that you can find rest in one another, you can complement one another, enjoy the moments of happiness and support each other in the moments of difficulty. And it is Almighty Allah that has placed love, mercy and compassion between the husband and the wife. When the Almighty created the first man, Adam, peace be upon him, he gave Adam every bounty imaginable, yet something was missing in his life. He felt incomplete until the Almighty created the first female, Eve. And after that union, he felt as a complete person. That's why the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that marriage is a completion of ourselves and a completion of our religion. Marriage is also about certain responsibilities. Responsibilities of the husband to the wife and the wife to the husband. And the Almighty Allah has mentioned these responsibilities in a beautiful way. He said, Hunna libasul lakum wa antum libasul lahunna that they your partners, they are garments for you and you are garments for them. After marriage we become garments for each other. Our garments are the closest thing to us. Our garments complement our bodies and our garments give us dignity, honour and respect. And also marriage is about working with one another to fulfill our responsibilities to the Creator Himself. That's why the Prophet, peace be upon him, has mentioned these verses at the time of marriage. He says, O mankind, love and worship your Creator, the one that has created you from the one soul, the soul of Adam, and from that soul extracted that of his partner Eve, and through that union sent forth the progeny of mankind. May the Almighty Allah accept this gathering, bless both the bride and the groom as they embark on this new and exciting chapter in both of their lives. May Allah accept it. I'd like to ask Alpha and Rahmatullahi to please face each other. Alpha, please say these words after me. Bismillah. Bismillah. Wassalatu wassalam. I'm Binta, I'm the groom's sister. Um, just want to wish them a happy married life and uh, all the best. In front of these witnesses. My name is Shaka and I'm from the US. I came here for my auntie's wedding and to say congratulations. Have a lucky man. Love you. Rahmatullahi bunduka. I promise to love, honor and protect you. I promise to love, honor and protect you. I would like to say that I am very happy for you. I wish you all the best. Congratulations and many, many, many more years of love and anniversaries and lots of babies. Bismillah. Wassalatu wassalam. Ala Rasulillah. I, Rahmatullahi Banduka, in front of these witnesses, except to marry. Alpha Bangura and I accept him as my husband. And I accept him as my husband. I promise to love, honor and cherish you to the best of my ability and I take Almighty Allah as my witness. Barakallahu laka wa barakallahu alayk wa jama'a baynakuma fi khair 
Congratulations, you are now husband and wife.